what is up again guys this is axe here Ed from kansas city we, yeah we are first of all get a shout out to london boy here i am looking at one of his videos here and i'm also doing a voice over matter here voice over his youtube video he did of london of a uh, doom dome uh, who is a five-piece emperor now he won another emperor there's a lot of controversy and there was a lot of words said uh about him winning this one the 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 most surprising and the most absurd part about it is is if the guy has won multiple emperors before what are the odds of him winning one more as you guys know, uh, when an emperor is a extremely coordinated, organized, collaborated event, uh, there's no one person like back in the past or one guild or even a couple of guilds that win emperor. And I don't think it's ever been like that as well, guys. It's always been coordinated. It's always been... Uh, a certain people who win emperor is uh, I don't think there's any English speaking or American or a non Asian emperor or player well what's the name did win one emperor piece I forgot what his name was he did win one emperor piece he tricked them on the timer or something like that. But anyway, uh, I thought it would be good to kind of like um, voice over his video here. Shout out to London Boy. If you are not familiar with his YouTube channel, uh, pop it up right there. You can see it. This is YouTube channel right there. Uh, he obviously is affiliated in some sort of way with a lot of big players, a lot of great players. His account doesn't appear to have a lot of stats or a lot of major anything to it from what I can tell, but I don't know. So uh, most of what I'll be saying in this video, since I'm very low caliber and pretty much like... Uh, um, insignificant to a lot of these major players I just want to kind of like just give basically my uh, guesstimation or opinion of what we're looking at here so first we're gonna look at the stats um he did go in fury uh, when uh, I'm guessing the um, Dom or doom or dome or whatever his how you ever if you pronounce his name his base stats are crazy, guys. His The base stats on this Emperor account are better than my <laughs> account with my gear on, guys. As you can see there. I'm telling you, they're, they're far better. They're just not better. They're beyond compare. A stats of about 700 on just on his um on the attack stats as well as over 650 on defense but when we look at his when his leaders deployed when he has his leader yeah he's hitting in a mixed his mixed gear is about a thousand each now this is a maxed account here uh dom is a maxed account dom one and as you notice, uh, several of the players, the OCR, the other Emperor account, and a few other players, which we'll get into that in a minute, had a dialogue and a uh, there was messaging back and forth uh, talking about this guy wouldn't win and he did win. And what I'm particularly interested in, not necessarily their, their conversation, but just the stats in general. Uh, I'm pretty much a fan of the stats so being a, being having a chance to really do kind of like a review of the stats 
even if I'm piggybacking or, you know, co-telling somebody else's uh, uh, YouTube video, I'm still going to reach other people who may not have saw this video uh, because they don't, they're not, they may not be familiar with London, but or maybe they could care less about his YouTube channel. Uh, I am not, I don't even think I'm subscribed to London Boys uh, channel, but I will subscribe after this uh, because I didn't know he had uh, access to so many. I'm not familiar with him, and I didn't know he had such access with you know some of these major players in the game. So there we see his um, his stats there for um, mix. He doesn't show the blast stats, guys. Uh, so we're looking at what we're going to be looking at. What's going to be important about an Emperor account and the Emperor pieces that he's using. This is a five-piece Emperor stats that we're looking at. One of the things that are going to be important with the, with the jewels and the gems that, well, not the gems, but the jewels, particularly and the pieces that are being used, are basically giving off an army attack. So you can add, um, when you look at these infantry, cavalry, and range attacks, you are able to add an additional amount of army attacks based off whatever jewels and pieces he has in his gear. So let's keep it going. And right there is the army HP at almost a thousand well in this game I think you really can't say almost a thousand you really got to say like 919 because those extra two percent three percent ten percent really you really have to work at it you really have to uh, come up with something really significant to kind of like uh, reach those extra stats those extra boosts there now the thing about it is is most uh most most of the stats, guys, most of these stats that we're looking at are going to be like almost equal across the board to other players who have pretty much the same stats but may not have the same army attack. You know, there's several accounts in Lord's Mobile that are going to be in mixed at about a thousand each, but they won't, what they will not have is the army attack and the army HP as this guy probably has so that is really really amazing when you add 900 uh hp to his you know his 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 stats and when you add say 688 attack to his overall army i mean that's 688 on top of a thousand or eight or nine hundred and something so that is quite impressive let's keep moving and see what's going on and there the pieces right there guys definitely a mixed account uh let's move that down let's slide that in some more all right definitely a lot of kills i don't know what count what skin there he has there uh, I'm not really familiar with it. I did I did see when it came out. I wasn't really impressed with it at all. But uh, those castle skins don't come cheap. It's to me it's a mystery of what these guys actually spend and what they actually what it costs them to not just you know max an account out, but to uh, put it at an infantry level. There we're looking at a few of his boosts there. That's that that piece there alone. With the jewels in it, let's take a peek at it. I'll get this out of the way here. Let's go up some more here. That piece alone, guys, is uh, rocking an army attack with the uh, the jewels there. As you can see, what he's what he has in there. It's real about he's he's rather than like uh, doing something like say a eighty. 80 or 90 or 120 infantry attack or infantry and cavalry. He's just rack, rocking a, 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 an overall complete army attack. So it's like 
it's just not it's it's just not having a hundred percent army attack. I'm talking about like six hundred and eighty eight percent army attack. That's unfathomable to me. That's like I can't comprehend really what that is. I mean, for someone to have an army attack that beats another player's infantry attack or cavalry attack or range attack or overall mixed attack, you know, it's, it's crazy to have an army pushing damn near 700 just alone, just in the army attack. And that could be on top of either the base stats or with also with the gear the leader so that that's real crazy guys that's 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 insane so let's keep going so we're going to be looking at more of the uh stats here he has 36 percent he has an enemy debuff of seven percent in addition guys to that i didn't catch the debuff uh earlier and then you see the infantry and cavalry attack as well 15 percent with travel speed that's coming from that champion jewel. So he's going to swap a gear. He's going to swap another gear out somewhere. And then we'll push this to the side. As he looks at a second piece. Scoot that over some. Looking at the hem. The, the hem there. There's a 66. Army HP of 71. Another enemy, enemy uh, army defense debuff. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. So if you're ever wondering, like me, what all of those Emperor pieces, what kind of stats those um, Emperor pieces give, where here they are, they give army attack. They're, they're not just like a champion gear that gives off a particular troop type stat these give off army attack so very clever of igg to kind of make those emperor pieces distinct in themselves to where they make it where these pieces give off army attack now one thing about this video is it's, it's not going to show for the most part it's not going to show um the his 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 attacks outside of his emperor gear such as you know his blast or you know his particular formations his stats on there like a 992 or 055 or 569 things like that there he's not going to show that i think he's just really in this particular video just really showing what a uh the stats that having these emperor all of the emperor pieces this is the max that you're going to get out of having this is the max right here guys you don't get any higher than this in the game i mean he's completely maxed out uh so you don't get higher than this in the game and there you see uh right there he goes to the next uh the robe there the regal robe there's his uh, other gear there. You can see those stats there. And then he has that one too that he won as well. That was 20 days it's at 18. Now he's had it for a couple of days. So very impressive there, guys. An army attack of 50%. Army max HP at each one of the each one of the emperor pieces give an army attack it gives an army defense in addition and then it gives an army hp in addition uh of the same rank as a or as a champion chess piece would give as far as the h the army hp but as i said it gives army attack uh, it gives your entire army that not just a particular troop type so that is pretty special that's pretty unique for the supreme emperor and to have one of those pieces is really great but to have them all to have all of the stones to have all of the gear 
this is in this is an this is a complete full blossom thorough maxed out account completely you can't get any higher than this so it's like after you get an account like this there's really other than utilizing it using it using those pieces now in in, in battle and war you don't there's nothing more you can do the winning another emperor for him wouldn't really do any good other than probably another gem that he might be lacking or jewels is what i meant uh but it won't do if you, you there's not a sixth emperor piece so this is a max this is a completely thorough maxed account uh there's the base i'm not sure if what a player like i said spends on something like this a kyper account i'm hearing it is uh definitely uh, in the mil a million or so or more for this especially to get all five emperor pieces and then at the same time to have to have to have to play in that many emperors wars uh to accumulate those pieces as you know he hasn't done it back to back to back this is over a course of uh months and months and months uh just those five pieces alone or five months by themselves but he hasn't won any any consecutive months so uh that's not the case so he's put in some work to get the that particular gear a lot of work and he spent a lot of bread uh so i think now what he's going to do is He's going to go into the conversation that some of the players had with him about this. But he wants to confirm, first of all, that it, he is who he is. And look at the time spread, the time that people occupied the wonder. And there's the competition there. Now, I'm not, I'm not very sure who all helped him to get this piece this final piece i don't know what guilds helped him get this if i would be correct they would all be wearing some sort of emperor blessing title acknowledging or recognizing them there's another player who has a, a couple of emperor pieces too but he came in third place this time so I don't know the distinction. I don't know why, you know, there's a big difference, but it's a matter in what guilds you have that are helping. There's Thing, F-E-N-G. That's another emperor account, but it's multiple emperor accounts there, as you can see, guys. And I'm talking about the uh, open emperor accounts. So now he's going to go off into the dialogue and the back and forth of the conversation that players were having to, uh, and I'll pause there and, uh, and there it is right there. It says, we will give you all our accounts if Dom wins. Doms did win, but I don't think somebody's going to hold true to their word about all of them players gifting someone their accounts if he won the Emperor, which he won it, but nobody's going to gift all of those type of accounts. Uh, it was just a matter of them basically swearing or trying to use some type of uh, extra exclamation, assertive, aver positive you know dogmatic statement i mean they wanted to put as much emphasis as possible that he was not going to win so they would say the most absurd or most forth forthful saying to uh rub in that the guy ain't gonna win which as you can see he did win He will not get it. Stop making false wishes. Maybe in dreams. So a lot of that there uh, that they basically talked about 
yeah you know what needs to happen is you know players guilds that are non Chinese or Asian uh, and I'm not saying that in a sense that any particular Asian or Chinese or Japanese or Korean or any of those particular people I'm saying those who hold this particular event in their in their in their grasp in their they they control it players should come together that are not associated with them or that are not on their side and it, that doesn't matter if you're Chinese Korean Asian Japanese um, any of those you know nationalities whatsoever you can be whatever but somehow it needs to be worked out where there can be legitimate real competition uh, real free play in the game so that those emperor pieces can come to other players who have been playing just as long and who have just as much skills so those guys need to cooperate come together and not so much as like I'm hearing so many guilds are pushing and helping to push whether for monetary or for money or some type of kickback or some type of promise or just to be a part, you know, there's just to belong. They're helping push these players by either not participating or by participating indirectly. Uh, it, it's a big thing. But the thing that what I'm saying needs to happen is, is these players need to form an alliance and some sort of dream team if I can use those words so to speak to to you know battle against them to help them to to help them earn the emperor pieces and not just keep giving it to the same group of people so enough of that guys as we can see uh he did win as we can see all of that uh what do i have here i'm good on that we did see he did win uh and he won convincingly so shout out to um dom i hope i'm pronouncing this ring this name out right and a uh, shout out to London Boy as well for posting this YouTube video. So let's get back, guys, to the game. Uh, we have some new people in our kingdom here uh, that has come over. And as you can see, let's take a peek. Uh, who do we have here? We have some people here that I didn't know anything about. We have these people here. They're the Amanis. That's not who I was talking about, though. It was some other people here. I don't know if they're here to stay or what. Do 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 do. Somebody got to see what goes there. TMS is the guild I'm talking about. Let's see what they're looking like. They're not that big. But anyway, I'll look at that later and check it out. I'm still waiting on somebody to come and rally me. Uh, all these big bad players out here, they can come and zero me. And I'll put those troops in the sanctuary for you. I sure will. And hold them there for a little while. Because they're not going anywhere. Anyway. What am I looking for here? Um, I've been just kind of chilling lately, guys. 
really I've been kind of like chilling. Uh, not been a whole lot. We see how much if we look over here. I have zero of my troops gathering the infinite lunite in the Mirage Rim. So, how much lunite do I have all together now? Let's take a look and see, guys. Let's take a look and see what we have stored. Now, there it says 950 something K. It says I'm max, right? So, um, but I gathered. Now, I don't know if my troops stopped. I don't know if the troops stopped. Obviously, they did because they're all gone. No, no one's out gathering resources. So I don't know if the troops stopped gathering when they when my bar, my level, reached almost a million. Because I had enough troops out. I had enough troops out, enough armies out to gather over 10 million. Or no, it would have been, been about 5 million lunite as you can see i've only have i have less than a million so what that tells me is that since you can only gather what your storage capacity can hold and there's no way to say increase that level of your lunite uh what it holds the, my capacity is 864,000 is my lunite capacity. Uh, now, you can only make one lunite found, foundry, right? You can only make one. And that's what I can produce. And that's what I have in store. Uh, if I go to right here in my bag, if I look at special things, maybe it'll show me how much I actually have. That's what I have there, but that doesn't, they don't show. That's what I have outside my bag right here. So, so basically, if I can only store, if I can only store, like let's let's see something right quick. Let's say I really can't use any of this because I'm over my limit. So if I push like 200, well it does go over that. So it's over the limit now, but where is what I gathered? Because as you guys know, I was gathering if we go back over here, I was gathering every bit of um Let's do it again. Let's see if it will gather some more, guys. Since I'm over capacity. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's send in this here. It's 540-something. Let's send in this here. Now, I didn't increase my army this time, but that's 600K. Lunite. Let's deploy. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna speed it up for time's sake. It's going slow. So all I know is I had multiple armies. Um, I had one army that was six. I had like three particular armies that were over six hundred k each. Lunite. So my thing is. That's over, that's 670 something K. Well, that's a million. That's one point, that's 1.8. That's almost 2 million by itself. And then, and I had three of those armies that did that. I had multiple armies that had, a, I had three armies that had 300 K. That's a million. So that's almost 4 million there. And then I had a couple of more that had about one that had, 700 something k lunite and another one that had probably five something in any way that's about uh it's over 400 million i mean over 4 million lunites 
but I didn't get it. Now it is, I want to look at the number as it, as it goes. It said 1.5 million or 1.15 is where it's set. I'm gathering right now. 1.153177. 1, 1, and I am actually gathering right now. Let's look at the numbers. It says I have it says one day and something, but I've gathered 330 something. I'm gonna return to castle and I'm gonna see if that turns that into say it should turn it into what it should turn it into one million one hundred and fifty three thousand and five hundred or so like that let's see what happens because it's gathering but it's not storing because I gathered way more than I have available so let's return to castle speed it up if this is the case guys then you're actually not gathering you're in a sense gathering unlimited lunite but you're not storing it you can only store to the level your capacity can hold which is for me under a million so what's the purpose i mean i guess you would have to you would have to use them Let's look and see. My Lunite didn't change. So where did my Lunite go, guys? I just harvest like 300 and something Lunites. And right here. Here's the Lunite right here that I gathered, guys. Let's we can take a look right here what I gathered. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine armies that I sent out. That's the last one I just sent out, which is number nine. But uh, look at how much Lunite this is. Six, eight, there's a million. Two, eight, 1.5, another, so that's 2.5 million. That's another one point. Four million. So that's over three million right there. But as you can see in my storage, it was not there. And uh, so what I'm saying was, where does the Lunite go, guys? When your capacity is full, where does the Lunite go? So that's what I'm wondering now. Where does the Lunite go? Or are you just gathering and got troops over there in vain when you can't? Uh, Anti scout. What else? I got nothing on. So that uh, is a shocker. And I think if that's the case, you have to use it. If I go over here, if that's the case. You obviously have to use it in order. I'm going to speed this up just to see what I got here. Uh, I have that there. That would do about half of that. Hmm. So that's something to consider, guys. Um. I see this over here. It says six thousand five hundred ninety-five. What is that six thousand? It's nothing, obviously, right? Cause six thousand. What's that gonna do? Hmm. What does that number represent at the bottom there? Six thousand five hundred ninety-five. Is that amount of troops I'm doing? Nope, it's not. Uh, I don't know what it represents. 
or is that six million? Is that six point five million? I don't know what that number represents. If y'all know, let me know. I don't know what it represents. Let me use this here and we'll see if anything changes there. Let's go to our crafting gear and go back in here and see if anything changes. Okay, nothing changed there. I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna. Now it said 13 guys, so I think it could be a. No, the number got bigger. Let's use some more and see what happens. I don't want to use none that I have. Let's use some more. 17. No, those are the troops that I have, guys. That's, so that's nothing. So that's actually, actually nothing. Those are the troops that you have in there. So I have 17, whatever, in there, which you'll see right here. Seventeen is the troops. There we have it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna go back in there, and you only can uh, you can only gather what you can store. And once you're finished, once you finish gathering what you can store, then it's to your advantage to go ahead and uh, use them. Use that luminite. Is the only way you're gonna benefit from it. If 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 it takes, let's go here, let's go here, and let's go here. So personally, I can only, um, and I guess I'm not even gonna use any. Well, I guess I will on the first couple. Some troops I don't really use. I don't really use those, so I'm definitely gonna send those. I'm gonna send the rest of these. There's four, and I'll send one more army because that's all I really can store. I can't store over, you know, 900 or, or 800 or something. So let's use those there. And let's send some more of this. Okay, so that there you have it right there. Um, that's it, guys. So that's pretty much how that goes. There, you only can, you can infinitely, you can infinitely gather it, but it does not store infinitely. And so, if you are gathering it, you actually have to go and use it for it actually to benefit you. So for someone, I don't see, I don't see, I don't really see that really being effective because it's going to take a day and what? It takes me how long to gather that much? Now I can put out multiple armies and I can manipulate that because if I got out multiple armies that are gathering uh, that much Lunite at the same time, then if I got... Say for instance, I got six armies out, and each one of them is is potentially maxed ability is to gather, say, um, as we were looking, each one can gather, let's say, let's say each one can gather, each one can gather, say, Five hundred over five hundred thousand lunites apiece, right? The time it takes them to gather is a day and something. Let's speed it up again. One of them should have hit already. So the time it takes them to gather one day uh, over a day. So that means every day I can gather enough lunite to basically train about um i can gather enough lunite to say train 
6,000, that's 6K, so half of that would be uh, 300 more, which is so about 9,000 T5 in a day. So you could train 9,000 in a day, but you have to have the speeds to be able to use that every day. So, something about that don't seem right at all, guys. That's that's some fraud stuff there. That's that's a gimmick, a hoax, some 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 trash. So I'm not gonna subscribe to that, guys. Uh, at all. That's I don't think that's. I don't think that's gonna be worth anything. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be worth anything, to be able to gather a million in a day and unless you use speed ups which you have to use speed ups you'll still have to get speed ups if you don't have them if you don't have as i said in the other video if you don't have speed ups for your lunite then the lunite is no good so what igg is doing here on the surface it seems great but in practice it's horrible horrible idea so Another thumbs down for that one. And then you guys already know the monster hunting is a special thing. You do you do get to hunt your monsters, especially guilds that I see the pros in that a guild that has a monster hunting requirement. Well, you can always set your thing daily to hunt, say, five level two monsters. And then you don't have to worry about whether you got your uh, you don't have to worry about whether you got your 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 monsters uh, so let's auto hunt three of those and we need one more I have a hero that's that I put on somewhere else guys we have to put another magic person there which we, we can do here so we're just gonna do auto use energy just to Oh, I actually want to do more than that. I actually wanted to do more than that, but okay. So as you can see also, when you're hunting monsters, it starts at the least amount of energy. Because normally at the max amount or 13, whatever, thousand, I can hit that, or hit that monster. So we'll say three and we'll start. So um, that's cool if you have your guild has a requirement of a certain amount of monsters per day. You can go and hit that uh, without having to go on the kingdom. And then you can also hit whatever monster you so desire. So I do think that is good. Uh, I think that is a good. But the Lunite, I don't think I don't see that as being good for anybody because um you can only store so much and that's going to be the same way with your food as well guys you're only going to be able to store so much food or resources they're only going to last as last as long as your capacity is such as i have a capacity of food total food storage is uh 36 million um so you know you can you can store that but my food i don't hold food i have an upkeep of over 500 million so it, it won't matter to me i don't have a hundred percent i don't have the hundred percent piece there i do have this guy and he does right now he does a reduced upkeep of about 32%. So, put on some things here, guys. I don't have another purple. Put that on. I don't have another purple there. That's the only one I have. Okay, put the purple on. Got that one. I got that one. I got that one. Let's purple it up, guys. We'll put this on. 
So yeah, guys, that's uh how it goes. So I don't think that's going to be anything phenomenal, guys. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, we're going to get out of here and that pretty much does it. They just want to give me that prize here on me sticking around. Then some days you try to hit it and it just disappears on you. Joke. All right, so what we got over here? What we got here? All right, what we got here? Uh, they want to do that. They still don't want to do that. All right, let's go here. All right, so we can keep seeing. All right, what we got here? Got some food there, guys. Some food there. Plenty of it. Mm-hmm. Arctic flipper. I do have 150 of those. Maybe I'll get some help on those. We'll see. And then maybe I'll get some of these. We'll see. Because I got 123 of those. I might get the legendary. I might get lucky. Yeah, don't quote me on that, guys. You know how that goes. You, you open those and you, you get nothing out of them. Got that one. Put that there. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't see nothing here. I don't see nothing there. See nothing there. Oh, yeah, that there. We'll mess with that though. We'll mess with that and that. So we'll go go we'll go that route. That's that, but this ain't gonna do no good there. Alright, so that's it, guys. I am going to get out of here. It's been fun. It's been great. Thanks for watching the video. The Mirage. That's definitely a positive if you like to hunt specific monsters. That's a plus. I think that's a big plus. Definitely good for that. That will possibly eliminate a lot of monster hunt buses. Because now IGG doesn't have to worry about people doing these monster hunt buses. Because everybody's got their own monster hunt bus now. Because you can always hunt the monster you want. If you want to hunt Blackwing or, you know, the Flipper or whatever. Saberfang or you can hunt your own monster. So that is a really nice thing there. But the unlimited resource gathering is not true. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope this video was good to you. If you like it, put give me a thumbs up. Uh, hope I didn't step on anybody's toes by uh, going over voice over their matter, over their video. But I'm out of here. I'm out. Take care, guys. Ed from Kansas City. I'm out.